In December 2014 and January 2015, adventurer Sam Kosman undertook a deadly expedition to explore one of the world's most active volcanoes on Ambrim Island in Vanuatu in the South Pacific. So we're at the hangar. We just sunk up with our uh, chopper pilots, Ben and Andy. We're making our way to Ambrim, which is about two hour flight away. We're gonna try to get an aerial assessment of what the lava lakes are looking like so we can try to figure out the best way to approach it and get in. 33-year-old Sam quit his job at a software company to pursue his dream of exploring the world's most extreme natural phenomena. And he was lucky enough to be sponsored by a smartphone accessory company. He was joined by an experienced support team, including a videographer, drone pilot, volcanic explorer, and astrobiologist. We're just landed here. It looks like uh, the fog's lifted a little bit. There's no rain, just kind of a light drizzle of anything. It's good conditions to set up camp. We're running out of daylight, so we gotta get started. The aim of the expedition was to survey a volcanic crater with cutting edge technology, including a drone mounted camera and the footage it captured was mesmerizing. Using photography software, Sam and the crew were able to create the first virtual environment of a real volcano, enabling volcanologists around the world to undertake virtual field research for the very first time. Yo, that's 1,200 feet. That's the, the vertical height of the Empire State Building further down, you want so badly to take your mask off, but it's just impossible. You take one breath of that superheated gas and that's the end. The team also wanted to collect lava samples to understand how life could exist in extreme environments on our planet and beyond. And the only way to do that was down. Sam descended a harrowing 1,200 feet to get closer to the crater. I'm on the edge of the lava lake right now. About 200 degrees. Yeah, yeah. Don't hit my chest here if you're going to fill yeah. It's about 200 degrees right here. My camera is going to shut off in a second probably. It's so hot. We're looking right into the gates of hell. But to reach the molten lava, he had to put on a custom-built industrial proximity heat suit so he could withstand the temperatures, which exceeded 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit from only 10 meters away. So I took my iPhone out to take a photo while I was down there and I held it up for about five seconds until a little error message showed that said, flash is disabled, the iPhone needs to cool down before you can use the flash. So apparently, iPhones aren't lava proof. It was a once in a lifetime experience, and Sam has since raised money to help the nation rebuild after the devastating cyclone of March 2015. We couldn't have had more spectacular weather. It was absolutely blue skies down there. There's a little fear of rain at one point, but we got as close as we could to the lava. Just had an amazing day of climbing. This is what it's all about. Incredible experience all around. <laughs>